Don't forget to check out the exclusive content and tutorials. Links are in the description. Okay, so far, he doesn't seem to have much in tight friendships. Stress smile. You know, the other thing I'm noticing is he's not chummy, which is what I like. You get those people, they overly grab you, smiling, that's not real, pulling you in close as if you guys are besties and it's not true. This guy, at least to these gentlemen so far, has kept it to, yep, I'm your colleague, mm-hmm, we agree on some things, yep, keeping my personal space to myself, I'm not invading yours. Polite smile, polite handshake. I like genuine better than I like fake, regardless of how crazy you are. We are seeing stress on his face. And considering the Kavanaugh hearings, it's not surprising. Because Lord knows, in his mind, what is about to go down. Now, we're not watching this whole thing. All we're looking for is to see if we have an ally or a snake. And let me define ally for you. When I term it, is someone who is going to follow the Constitution regardless of who the cheerleader or popular personality is. A snake is someone who would subvert it in favor of money and power. In terms of my chairmanship, if I can do what you and Senator Grassley were able to do during your time, I will have uh, done the committee uh, a good service. Senator Grassley, thank you very much. Last year was tough, but I think you and Senator Feinstein did the best you could in the environment in which we live. The times in which we live are very difficult times. I don't see them getting better overnight, but I do see them getting better if we all want them to. So about me, I want us to do better and I'll be as measured as possible. The immigration Lindsay will show up, but the other guy's there too. And I don't like him any more than you do. So the bottom line is we're starting off with something that would be good for the country. We have a vacancy for the attorney general spot. We have a chance. Yeah, I go back. So about me, I want us to do better and I'll be as measured as possible. The immigration Lindsay will show up. Just how happy Feinstein is with Lindsay next to her. Now I know Lindsay has a fan club. I am not in that fan club. A tiger can't change its stripes. You forget this is the same man that went with John McCain to the Balkans to push a foreign policy agenda without Trump that had nothing to do with Trump's foreign policy. But the other guy's there too. <laughs> and I don't like him any more than you do. So. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> Tap your arm. <laughs> Giggle like a schoalgirl. You know you like me. It's all just the angle. Watching him talk, and he's angled literally towards Feinstein. He's more comfortable on the Republican side, but his angle is towards her. So we have his right angled down, and he takes up more space. So what the Republicans is pretty much telling you, he's very comfortable taking space and turning his back on them. With Feinstein, he's got it closer to his body and up, which doesn't say trust, but the fact that his shoulders are twisted in a way towards her doesn't turn his back on her, but is making jokes. Now, obviously, they're not friendly allies. This reminds me of what you see, the enemy of my enemy is my friend type relationships. They go back and forth. You have no idea what's really brewing in their heads. All you can judge them by is on their past actions. And I would be very careful. The bottom line is... We're starting off with something that would be good for the country. We have a... And then he completely relaxes and goes down. So now he's turned his back on her, so there's comfort there. So when you look at it now, you think back, oh, I don't want people to know that we're kind of allies, that I have some comfort with you. I'm starting to trust Grassley more. Um, I want to say just one word or two or three about women. 25 years ago, there were no women on this committee. I'll never forget... Uh, watching the Anita Hill hearing on a television in the London airport with a lot of people gathered around. So I went over to take a look, and I saw, and I saw this all-male judiciary committee. 
And um, it took all these years, but here we are. And I want to particularly welcome Senator Ernst. I was watching him sit there and listen to her virtue signaling about women on the committee. Oh, my God, I'm going to puke. And then I was looking at Barr as he's looking at the committee. He's going up and down and up and down with his head. And it's not positive. It's the, like, wiggle. Not really looking at her, avoiding eye contact. There's uncomfortableness there. Something to watch for. And Senator Blackburn, I think it's extraordinarily important that this committee be representative of our society at large. And we are growing that way. And um, so thank you very much uh, for being here. Um, distracting himself. People get uncomfortable and distract themselves from things that they don't like and are trying not to show their dislike or things that they feel would expose something they don't want seen. We haven't figured out which one it is yet. But this is one of the tells you look for. I'd also like to uh, welcome Bill Barr and his family. Um, I know you're proud to be here and you served as attorney general before from 91 to 93. And I think we all have great respect for your commitment to public service. Um, when we met, uh, your previous tenure marked a very different, we talked about a very different time for our country. And today we find ourselves in a unique time with a different administration and different challenges. And now perhaps more than ever before, the country needs someone who will uphold the rule. His breath has increased. He's literally taking a deeper breath as he's been focused in on from her. Of law, depend the independence, defend the independence of the Justice Department and truly understand their job is to serve as the people's lawyer, not the president's lawyer. Top of mind for all of us. Now he agrees with that one. The people's lawyer, not the president's lawyer. Of us is the ongoing Mueller investigation. Importantly, and then we see some stress go up on Mueller investigation and a head shake in the positive. The attorney general must be willing to resist political pressure and be committed to protecting this investigation. I'm actually, I'm starting to like him. <laughs> see a little movement with the eyes. He resists political pressure. And he looks around a little bit. He goes back, comes back up. And then you see the eyebrows flash up real quick and to the side. <laughs> We're like, yeah, right. Not in the sense of in your face, I'm going to take it down. It's the hypocrite. He's heard something hypocritical. That's what it is. I've heard something hypocritical. Like, mm. Pleased that in our private meeting, as well as in your written statement submitted to the committee, you stated that it's vitally important, and this is a quote, that the special counsel be allowed to complete his investigation. We're seeing a whole lot of rapid eye movement there, too. Written statement submitted to the committee. You stated that it's vitally important, and this is a quote, that the special counsel be allowed to complete his investigation, end quote. And that, quote, and we saw some swallowing there. So a lot of stress in that. Your written statement must be allowed to continue swallowing rapid eye movement. That doesn't mean that he's being deceptive. What I'm gathering from it is whatever's in that statement that he has stated, he intends for the investigation to go forward. In the sense of, I'm not going to stop him from investigating. I am not going to allow for fishing exercises or investigating things that I have no evidence in. So all the illegal FISA, the I'm going to go dig through his trash just because I'm looking for something he did wrong to prosecute him on something that had nothing to do with anything that's supposed to be investigated. That's not his intention. That he will not allow, which is good news. Because remember, we're only looking to see ally or snake. The public and Congress be informed of the results of the special counsel's work, end quote. However, there are at least two aspects of Mr. Mueller's investigation. First, Russian interference in the United States election and whether any U.S. persons were involved in that interference. And second, possible obstruction of justice. It's the second component that you have written on. And just five months before you were- He's swaying a lot too. They're micro movements. But he's swaying a lot. And there's that stress buildup. He's hiding. He doesn't want anybody to know what his intentions are. Nominated. I spent the weekend on your 19-page legal memo to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein uh, criticizing Mueller's investigation. 
specifically the investigation into potential. And now we're seeing the breaths come in. So that's the stress, knowing that they know he's critical of the Mueller investigation. Obstruction of justice. In the memo, you conclude, I think, that press special counsel Mueller is, quote, grossly irresponsible for pursuing an obstruction case against the president um, and pursuing the obstruction in inquiry is fatally misconceived. So I hope we can straighten that out in this hearing. Um, but your memo also shows a large... Then he's going back to that blinking. Sweeping view of presidential authority and a determined effort I thought, to undermine Bob Mueller, even though you state you have been friends and are in the dark about many of the facts. He doesn't agree with that. That look that goes back, he's constructing. Even though you state we've been friends, see a little bit more stress in the eyebrows and the forehead. He doesn't quite agree with that statement. Why people categorize friends in different ways. Some fool walks around and tells everybody he's your friend. Then you got people who actually categorize people. That's not my friend and it's an acquaintance. That's my best friend. That's someone I defend on for lawnmower services. So technically, I guess friend. Yeah, we don't know what he defines as friend. Apparently, her definition and how he views it is in disagreement. Acts of the investigation. So it does raise questions about your willingness to reach conclusions before knowing the facts and whether you prejudge the Mueller investigation. And I hope you'll make that clear today. It also raised his wife does a better job at hiding. This is a number of serious questions about your views on executive authority and whether the president is, in fact, above the law. For example, you wrote the president, and I quote, alone is the executive branch. As such, he is the sole repository of all executive powers conferred by the Constitution. Thus, the full measure of law enforcement authority and he's doing that blinking again. Yeah, he's hiding from her. This is the stress. I do believe, just from this, that he plans on stopping the illegalness of the Mueller investigation, but allowing the legal to go forward looking to see if there's any collusion. And then, of course, we all know where that's going to lead. No more prosecuting for tax evasion or extravagant expenditures. Are you familiar with the uh, January 11th uh, New York Times article? about FBI open inquiry into whether Trump was secretly working on behalf of Russians. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Would you promise me and this committee to look into this and tell us whether or not, in the appropriate way, a counterintelligence investigation was opened up by somebody at the FBI slash Department of Justice against President Trump? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I think there are a number of investigations, as I understand it, going on in the department. Have you ever heard of such a thing in all the time you've been associated with the Department of Justice? Uh, I've, I have never heard of that. Are there rules about how you can do counterintelligence investigations? I believe there are, Mr. Chairman. So if you want to open up one against the president, are there any checks and balances? Uh, n not outside the FBI. Okay, well, we need to look at that. Uh, in terms of people who are actually enforcing the law, don't we want to make sure they don't have a... That was interesting. So we sit there and we see him doing a lot of blinking through that little spiel there about opening investigations, isn't there counter, isn't there checks and balances? <laughs> he does that blinking thing. I just kind of sit there. After we saw what we saw, I was like, has this happened before? Is this not the first time? Oh, the things you learn. An agenda? That's right, Mr. Chairman. Do you know a uh, Lisa Page or Peter Strzok? I've heard their names. But do you know them personally? No, I don't. This is a message, August 8th, 2016, a text message. Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Right. Strzok responded, no, no, he's not. We'll stop him. Strzok was in charge of the Clinton email investigation. Ms. Page worked at the Department of Justice. August 15th, 2016. I want to believe the path you threw out for consideration in Andy's office, that there's no way he gets elected, but I'm afraid we can't take that risk. It's He's getting tighter lipped on this whole thing with Strzok and Page. I have a notion with how he's looking and how tight he's getting and how gated he's become 
that he's had access or discussions, maybe now I'm assuming not with the president or anyone else as far as immediate, but with his friends that he still has in government. Because I believe that he knows more or has an idea of more. Those back channels, they're always open. It's like an insurance policy in the unlikely event you die before 40. March 4th, 2016. Page destruct. God, Trump is a loathsome human being. October the 20th, 2016. Trump is an effing idiot, is unable to provide a coherent answer. To all those who enforce the law, you can have any opinion of us that you like, but you're supposed to do your job without an agenda. Do you promise me as Attorney General, if you get this job, to look in to see what happened in 2016? Yes, Mr. Chairman. How do these statements sit with you? I was shocked when I saw them. Okay. Please get to the bottom of it. I promise you we will protect the investigation, but we're relying upon you to clean this place up. Uh, He's really firm on that. You don't see the double blinking. You don't see the rapid blinking. You don't see any of that. You see him stoic and giving good eye contact. I'd say at this point, I deem him ally. An ally that I wouldn't let out of the perimeter I put him in. If you liked it, leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe using this link via specific feeds. You'll be sent notifications to the full length videos and ones that can't make it to YouTube and you won't mysteriously be unsubscribed either. There's now a video course available on her website for gold subscribers, where Mandy teaches more about her techniques of deception detection. There's also other content such as the crime series, an interesting mind series, and monthly podcasts available to both gold and silver subscribers. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.